World War II in HD is a look at the entirety of World War II, but through the eyes of 12 individual lives. We're used to seeing World War II footage in black and white, and most of it was shot in black and white. The big difference with World War II in HD is that everything we have gathered has been original color footage. Most people draw on the easy to get stuff. We made a conscious decision here to go after the not so easy to get stuff. You really have to be a tremendously persistent researcher to dig this stuff out. There was an exhaustive two year search to gather this information and to dig it up from archives worldwide. We were able to get a lot of footage from the Army, the Navy, the Marines, the Coast Guard, the Air Force. We have an archivist here who worked with the World War II Museum, with the 8th Air Force Museum in Savannah, with film archives in Germany, Romania, France, etc. We wound up scouring the globe for over 2,000 hours of color footage. And all of these people really opened up everything that they had. The ability to have color in World War II was expensive, but it was done by the Germans early on, the British did it, and then the Americans did it primarily in the Pacific. A lot of the films that were found were in pristine condition because they had never been or rarely been used ever in the archives for the last 50 years. They weren't even cataloged, a lot of them, and so they were in tremendous shape. When I watch these episodes, I say to myself, you know, so much of this is new. I just haven't seen this stuff before. This film in color makes this series completely different from anything else you've ever seen on World War II. Everything that you're looking at now is in HD, and it really brings everything to life, and it tells a real story about the people that we're telling the story about. I think for people who have seen a lot of World War II documentaries, this is going to be a terrific surprise. <laughs>